Here's another demonstration of the uh, two-speed Connects buggy. That's a high-speed drive there. See the wheels are going quite fast. That's a low-speed drive at the back. The, basically, I could have both gears, sets of gears driving one shaft. But A, I like the idea of a kind of four-wheel drive. And also, it made more room for the gears, so I could arrange the gearbox better. Now, this is a first prototype. What happens is when the going is smooth, the front wheel, the front driver let can move the vehicle fast and it disengages a gear in the back. That gear in the back disengages. When you turn the wheels fast, that gear just disengages. Now, the advantage of the system is extreme simplicity. The disadvantage of the system is that only one or the other of the two motors is ever working efficiently at any one time. But uh, whenever you hear that rattling, it's because the front motor's taken over and it's gaining speed. That's a robot lawnmower, by the way, ignore that. And uh, it's still climbing uphill, but as the hill levels out, as the hill levels out, it starts to accelerate. It's now going quite fast because it's been driven by the front motor. Now, now that it's hit the grass, now that it's hit the grass, there isn't enough power in the front motor, which means the front motor stalls out because it's limited by the solar panel, which means the drive at the back now really takes over. And the drive at the back side doing what you see that gear has engaged. Now, as it's going on the smoother ground, the drive at the front takes over and it hits high gear and it accelerates and away it goes again. Woohoo! Up, oh, you get another burst of speed on the smooth ground. Hang on. We're about to be mowed down. Hang on. There you go. There, as it's gone onto the uh, difficult ground, the because the power of the front motor is limited by the solar panel, it just slows down and stalls out. You know, it, it just holds it back. And uh, because the motor there is stalling, this one engages, and because of the much lower gearing, it has much more power. Oh. Ignore that black lump, that's just a switch. The, uh, it's of no consequence. That could be just a standard connects lead. And you see the, the front motor is all but stalling because it's for high gearing. Oh, and uh, oh, bonk. Our lawnmower's come back again. And the uh, that's a super capacitor, but it's not in circuit just now. That's for other experiments. I'll, I'll tell you more about that later. And, uh, but there you go, it's gone into low gear again. So it works very well, I think. Just to make the point. Put it back on smooth ground. Suddenly it really goes. Really bombing along. Yeah, that cog is just disengaging. But as soon as it hits the rough stuff, oh no, a lawnmower again. Um, as soon as it hits the rough stuff, the uh, that cog engages and gives it plenty of climbing power. And it's still getting some assistance from the front motor, but obviously torque is limited because of the much taller gearing. So uh, there you have it. One fully automatic two-speed connects gearbox and uh, well chuffed with that I think it works a treat um, yeah I'll, that's a first pass obviously and I'll zoom in on it that's a first pass and now that I've got the, now that I know what gear ratio is work oh bonk now that I know what gear ratios work, I can uh, rebuild another one. A 
more efficient way, you know, better one for uh, windmill, west bar, wacky, west, windmill, western, west mill, wind farm, wind and solar, wacky racers model day, this is what that's for. We get a lot of ple ple pleasure out of showing mechanisms to kids, especially when made out of something they can relate to, such as a Connects construction toy. speed and low speed and the sun's gone in the sun's gone under a cloud uh, the sun going under a cloud reduces the power of the solar panels so the motor at the back which has the easier gearing can still move the vehicle even though the one at the front is conking out There's this thing again oh are they gonna miss are they gonna miss whoa yes they're gonna miss yeah, that's lucky. Well, I forgot, I still zoomed in a bit in the camera. Now, as the sun comes out, and as it hits a slightly downhill bit, the ratchet at the back engages and it hits the high speed again. Woohoo, look at that go. That's really bombing along. Now, crash, it's hit the table. Now, look at that. There's so much power in the motor, it's actually causing the hub to slip round inside the tower, inside the top. You see the motor's still running just. So you've got wheel spinning power in low gear and the efficient running in high gear. So, uh, I'd call that a success, I would. There, we're going uphill again, so. Uh, Oh no, it's getting enough, finding enough power to climb the hill just in high gear. No, it's gone into low gear again because it's a hill and the sun's gone in a bit. So that front motor stalling out. Let's see if I can put the camera inside the vehicle. And the sun's come out and it's accelerated into high gear again. And there you go. Oops, bonk, I've crashed it. There we go. There you have it. One continuously variable CVT buggy. You see, if he's, the front motor just stalls when you overload it, that doesn't do any harm because the panel limits the power. And that has your freewheel but it's just that little lifty framey thing there there's a small cog on there inside small cog inside driven by that gray gear that drives the other gray gear in there which drives that gray gear in there which uh, actually got a slight problem I'll fix that So it's uh, lift that cog out whenever it wants to run fast. 